Good morning everyone. Sammy and I have woken up in a place called Albany today and it's about a four and a half hour drive south of Perth so we go way 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 down to the bottom of Western Australia and we're camping for the Easter weekend but this morning we have to go to a cafe where there's Wi-Fi so I can finish off a university assignment which I've left to the last minute so now I have to do it while I'm away. So it turns out that everywhere in Albany is shut on Easter Friday. So we've had to drive around the, the town square and look for something that's open and we've come across a little cafe called Kate's Place. So we're going to go and try that. So Sammy, I was thinking you should probably tell us a little bit about yourself seeing as no one knows who you are. Well, my name's Sam, Sammy if you want to be like Ella. I'm 24 years old and I'm a qualified boat designer or a naval architect. Probably Ooh. Three, three fun facts about me. Ooh. So Sammy and I have just had some lunch at this beautiful picnic spot in a place we don't know the name of but if I find out what it is I'll write it on the screen here. But we thought Sam would go for a skinny dip now so we could film it to share with you. There's no chance I'm going for a skinny dip. <laughs> he's like, skinny dipping. There's like three or four other people on the beach he's, so he's not going. He's embarrassed but he's going to skinny dip, you watch. If Ella came it's, in it's on, with me, it's on, it's on the camera now, he has to do it. You haven't even touched the water. Oh my god, it's freezing! It's so cold! Oh no, it's freezing! Don't be so mean! I'll nipple pin Hey baby, look what I bought you. Thank you. Look at the horizon, it's coming straight for us. Round up the oxygen for us. So we originally planned this morning to go to the library and spent a few hours working on my assignment but that didn't happen because the library was closed so we went to a cafe instead but that was quite busy there was kids running around everywhere so we didn't get much assignment done it was really distracting and like i just i was sitting there I was just like i just want to pass out and now we we're going to go to the movies but we decided to be too busy because it's rainy and everybody was probably going to the movies yeah <clears throat> so we thought we'd go to the camping store and buy some camping gear <laughs> Woo! Maybe we will need it, sure as hell, we will need it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's your chair, isn't it? Oh, it's my favourite. I'm going to have that one. We've made a little decision on what we're going to do. We're going to buy a tarp, which is heavy and it's that size. So it'll be nice and big to keep us covered. And also two poles and some ropes so we can hold it up whilst attaching it to the car. If none of that makes sense, don't worry. We'll show you later when we get back to our campsite. So we'll see you then. We've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is we've set up this tarp really well. So it's like this little undercover area just outside the car and it actually works really well. But the bad news is our bed is soaked. Our pillows are soaked. All around the edges of our bed are soaked because our tent didn't kick the water out all day. Have a look, I'll show you. Our dunas are soaked. There's no way we can sleep in here tonight. So we're taking down the tarp because we need to be able to drive the car to get to Bunnings. So the plan is we're going to drive to Bunnings, which takes about 15 minutes and then it should close not too long after that. So hopefully we can organize a blow up mattress so we can sleep in the back of the car. We are like royally screwed. Target's closed, Kmart's closed, Bunnings is closed, boating, camping and fishing is closed. So it pretty, pretty much means we don't have anything to sleep on tonight. Let's see if we can come up with an alternative. Good news everybody, we made it through the night. We ended up spending hours and hours drying our clothes in the in the tumble drive and also hand drying it with my hair dryer. Oh you know how to work that hair dryer. So if any of your boyfriends out there try and tell you not to bring your hair dryer or your straighteners, don't listen to them. That shit comes in handy. <laughs> Late night seeping up my energy Fight until the break of dawn Oh, won't you see My hand reaches out for the stone Oh, won't you see So I've just stopped off this place called Salmon Rocks and it looks amazing <laughs> like our saggy nana tits right now. So we've arrived at campground number two in Denmark and thankfully there is room here for us so we've booked ourselves a mini campsite for the night. <laughs> if you kick me, you're doing it yourself. <laughs> you're doing it yourself. All right, don't, oh, that's a bit tight. <laughs> so just going for a little wander around the campgrounds to get our bearings and find a nice place to sit and watch the sunset. I brought a nice watermelon half with us to snack on. picked one of the most noisiest camp spots in all of Denmark. This has been going on for hours. I wonder what time it will stop.
footage that we've captured the last few days just trying to stay on top of it so I can actually get it up in time rather than just letting it sit there for ages and never actually uploading it <laughs> so yeah I'm just waiting for Sammy he's just gone off to do some errands around Denmark like get some groceries some fuel and stuff like that I think later on we're gonna go for a little drive and find another new campsite and then just check out the beautiful scenery I guess so we've just passed a sign called Williams Bay National Park. So we've just entered the National Park and we are heading to a little beach. Tell me what's it called? It's called Green's Pools or Elephant Rocks. Elephant Rocks. Elephant Rocks. You try and be English, are you? Why not? English. I can't do an English accent. You can't do it very well. <laughs> not at all. Neither can I. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing now. <laughs> we've just arrived at Green's Pool. And it's really, really busy down here. So many tourists joining us on this beach today. We're just indulging on a vegan, what is it, pudding? Moose. Moose. And um, once we've done this, we're gonna go down to the beach and tan and swim and we'll show you all that good stuff. Mm. places we've ever been to would you agree yeah so I know I've said that a lot about many things in Western Australia but this is really up there with the top five I'd say Sammy's finished up in the water now so I think we're gonna go for a little wander and check out this place called Elephant Rocks which is that direction on that rock there and uh, I've seen photos on Instagram it looks absolutely spectacular so hopefully it looks like that in real life as well bottoms and you know I had it in my head that my butt would look like you know Hannah Polites from Instagram that chick with the awesome butt I was like yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna buy those Moana bikinis and I'm gonna work my butt off so I can get a butt like that and look good in these bikinis <laughs> today I'm wearing them I'm like hmm maybe shouldn't have worn them my ass pretty much feels like it's hanging right out <laughs> And it don't look pretty. Just a little FYI, I feel like your bikini butt is 10 times firmer once you leave the water. So if you wanted to impress someone, get us some icy cold water. It's your butt. It's gonna thank you. <laughs> Can I have a look? Dang, right? It's oh, good, isn't it? That it's so much firmer, isn't it? Ow, ow! <laughs> so much. So firm. <laughs> It's like, you know those memes online where it's like, I've worked out for one whole day, I should be seeing results by now. I've been working out for two weeks and still nothing. <laughs> God damn it. Good, we're good, we're 
dangerous. What's dangerous? You fucking moron. We're the only ones here. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hello. We're up on a lookout this morning, checking out the view at Peaceful Bay. Then we're heading off to a place called Walpal. Walpal. Which has a treetop walk, is that right? Yeah, it's like this big canopy walk thing, I think. It looks yeah. pretty cool. And then we're heading off to a place called Pemberton, which has this um, well known tree that you can climb. What's it called? Do you know? I think it's called the Gloucester tree. You Gloucester can climb up tree. to the top of it. Apparently, it's really tall and um, not many people can climb up it because they're scared, right? Ella's not going to be able to do it, I don't think. I'm going to do it. You I can think she's wait going to be see. way too scared. I'm going to do it. So we've come to the Valley of the Giants. So this is where the really large trees are. You can kind of see in the background, they're really tall, but also really wide. Eh, there we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at this. This is cool. That's so awesome. They've carved that out. All the different birds. There's a bird, there's a goanna sort of thing. Wow, people are so cool. Hmm. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, so it's $20 admission fee for both of us. That's $40 each just to go and walk up in the air above the trees. So we're not sure if we're going to do it yet. We'll have a look at some pictures and decide. Hi. I wish we had internet so we could check online to see what it looks like. Everything's going to We can just do this one. This is a 450 meter walk. This ancient empire walk. We'll just do that. So that's free, but that's not. That's 20 bucks. That's free. Hmm. Alright, we'll go and do this and then see what that's like. arrived at the bicentennial tree we're in the car park right now I'm just about to change clothes because um, what happens is you climb up to the top of this tree apparently it's like 65 meters tall or something and it has pegs inside the tree so that you can climb up and around it so that's the tree there and it just goes up and up and up that's halfway Right up to those things up there. You ready? The middle, I middle think. section of the tree, I think. I just came across this sign here. That was the easy bit. <laughs> <laughs> You made it. Yes. How does that make you feel? That's such a good feeling. High five. I'm so scared of heights. It feels so good. <laughs> Pretty proud of you, darling. I don't think you could do that. Well done. Ella's very scared of heights and she has climbed this massive, massive tree. Right up to the top there. 
How does that make you feel? All a day's work. <laughs> All in a day's work. Oh, so good. How is the heart? How's... I'm so glad I did that. I can't really feel it. No, I'm dying. <laughs> it's gone, guys. She's going to have a heart attack. <laughs> so, did you know, nobody's ever died climbing the trees. Really? But two people have had heart attacks when they've got to the ground. <laughs> really? Yeah. I feel like maybe I could be like that. That was such an incredible experience. Like, I'm so glad I pushed myself through that and actually did it, you know? Yeah, I'm glad you're up there with me. So, you've reached the end of the video, guys. I just wanted to say a very big thank you for sticking around for this long if you made it this far. If you have any questions about the road trip or you want to know about some of the places we went to, feel free to leave a comment below and we'll happily get in touch with you.